Do you know someone who says that they love Jesus, but they still do things that you both know are wrong? In fact, instead of helping others, they hurt them. Instead of bringing people to Jesus, they push them away. The religious leaders of Jesus' day did similar things. In Jerusalem, there was a huge temple. It was sort of like a church or a cathedral. People would go to the temple and they would pray and worship God. However, if you remember the Pharisees, the guys who were really good at making up rules, they made up more rules just for the temple as well. The Pharisees said, you have to worship God our way. You can't bring your own animals to give to God like Abel did. You have to buy our special animals. Your best isn't good enough for God. If you really want something good enough for God, you have to pay us first. When Jesus saw these men using God for their own profit to make themselves rich, he became furious. Their rules were preventing people from worshiping God. The ones who should have been helping people learn more about God were keeping people away from him. So he turned over the table throwing their money on the floor. And then he said, Stop! Stop taking people's money. Stop saying that it is for God when it's really just for yourselves. Stop using the house of God to justify hurting others. Let it be a place for people to talk with God. Then after he'd driven the merchants out of the temple courts, he walked over to a man who couldn't walk, reached out to him, and healed him. Yay! He saw a blind man who couldn't see. He walked to him, and he gave him sight. Yay! He showed everyone what worshiping God and true religion should really look like. Not taking money from the poor. Not making people feel bad that their best is not enough. And definitely not hurting others but helping those around you who are in need. Thank you for watching. Consider liking, subscribing, or sharing this video with a friend.